What is up Madden 25 gamers? In today's video we're going to be taking a look at our basic man beater out of the shotgun. Out of the, uh, Remember our base play was from the split cowboy and our man beater is actually going to be from the single back um, single back doubles rather or excuse me single back bunch excuse me um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to set up the depth chart real quick like we would have it in game but the play I want us to focus on whoops I forgot to call it <laughs> is the flanker drive uh this is a really a really good play for this uh this uh, scheme and team and also the y trail so we're going to go over both of those plays and then we also have um the inside zone and we have the uh pa pin deep okay so man coverage if they're running a lot of man um typically you're going to audible to your bunch and you have three wide receivers close in so how we're going to beat man from this formation, is, uh, and especially the wide trail, we're just going to put Welker on a drag here. And our first read on this play is going to be uh, Demarius Thomas. Here you're going to see Demarius Thomas with the pass to the inside. You're going to click on and user catch that when he cuts to the inside on his, wide tra on his route there. And it's really effective to beat man. Our second read is going to be the drag uh, playmaker to maybe. Oh, whoops. Sometimes you'll be able to playmaker this drag across the field. Let me see here if I can set it up. Nope, I guess it's not going to let me do it. Uh, but drags will rarely beat man out of this formation for Welker. He's typically not going to be open against man. He's more of a zone read. But our third read is going to be this wide trail route. Pass lead it down to Thomas, and it's going to beat man coverage. Our third, or excuse me, our fourth and final read is Eric Decker. Just bullet pass it, and you need to click on and go user catch that route. So, after you read not there, not there, click on, and it works like a slant. It's a little bit difficult once you, at the beginning of the day, but once you have a couple uh, passes under your belt, it's actually really effective against man. Another thing you could do if you wanted a simpler read it's put him on a smart routed out route. Very simple, but it's very effective. Right, no, left, no, we look back, out route, it's wide open. Okay, so that's how we like to beat man from the wide trail. Next play I want to go over real quick is the inside zone. If they're not playing a disciplined defense, what you want to do is you want to come in and then swerve to the outside. Uh, it's like a it's a quick movement of your running back, but it's, it's like you're wiggling them to the outside. So in, out, just like that, and you get to the edge, and then you... Break tackles and, and go for yardage, heavy yardage. This play is really effective. You can do the same thing, but then go to the inside like that, have a cut back. But this run is just something to keep them honest. Uh, it typically does not, it does not always break, but it does break once or twice every couple games. So this run is just something to have in your arsenal. It's not your main core run, but again, it's very effective, and we like to use it out of the bunch. Next play I want to take a look at is the PA pin deep. And what we can do with this is it's similar to the, the PA post out of the bunch. We have a comeback to the left. We know that's going to beat man. What we want to do with Hillman here is we want to just put him on a block and release pattern. Then we're going to put to, uh, Julius Thomas on a zig. And Wes Welker is going to be on a drag. Our first read on this play is the drag to Wes Welker. And you see that it's not going to beat man. It's going to be zone. So if I show you here, cover three. All right, cover three, and then we're going to show you the play. Now you're going to see Wes Welker's route is going to beat uh, zone coverage when it comes across the field. So that's how we like to use it. The second read here is going to be Ju Julius Thomas on the zig, and it will beat man coverage. Actually, really well. Pass lead it to the right, and you see it just beats man. Uh, that time, Willis made a great play on the ball, but that's just part of the way this game works. Sometimes you go drop passes. All right. So there's Julius Thomas. Third read on this play is you're going to look to the comeback for a user catch opportunity. So look right. No, no. Comeback, user catch. Um, you just want a bullet pass. And then you're going to click on and hold L2 and shove your receiver to the inside. See there? And that's what you want to do. Now you could, what you could also do with this, 
is you could just hit him when he breaks back to the back. So when he breaks back, you see, okay, I know that's going to be open. Just pass him, pass lead down whenever he cuts back to the um, original play. Whenever he cuts back from the comeback route, whenever he, the peak, pass lead down here. There you see it. So it does beat man normally, or you could use your catch, whatever you want to do. And then lastly, this uh, route to Thomas, Demarius Thomas, is going to be opening its man with a pass lead down to the inside. Wait till he cuts. Man, Justin Smith is a monster. Alright, so we'll take a look at this again. And you see that, that pass lead to the inside is. The way the route works, you're just going to click on and use or catch. I mean, it's not complicated, but it's very, in my opinion, it's a, it's just a little timing thing you have to get used to. Good night. I'm just going to put them in zones. Because, I mean, you're going to hit your early reads anyway if they're not. I mean, this is more of a max coverage beater anyway, so it's no big deal. But, like I said, you know, if, if they're in man... And the zig doesn't get open. Just pass lead it down uh, and into the inside and click on go user catch it. And you're going to beat man coverage, guys, for days. Last play I wanted to go over is the flanker drive. We're going to use the verticals to illustrate it. Um, what happens, I believe, is uh, Welker's on a smart routed in route. Thomas is on a drag route. Hillman's on a blue route. And then what we like to do is we like to put Eric Decker on a smart routed out route. You're going to motion Demarius Thomas to the numbers and then snap the ball. Your first read on this play is going to be Julius Thomas. Right there is where you're going to hit Julius Thomas. and It works like a pick play. Um, Demarius Thomas' motion works like a pick play. That's why it's a really good red zone play. Because if they're in zone, it's um, Julius Thomas' route is still going to be open. Your second read on this play is going to be Demarius Thomas when he cuts to the inside. Or pass lead down into the inside like that. Alright, and then your fourth read is going to be... Um, your fourth read is going to be Eric Decker, just to see what's going on over there. He gets bumped, so now we know that we can just look to Welker. He's our fifth read. And then our fourth read is a situation where they may be disguised cushion coverage or something. Where they're not actually pressing. And this is where I like to hit the smart routed out route. Pass lead to the outside. Oh, I didn't put him on the out route. Yeah, I didn't put him on the out route. I'm going to do that real quick. You see, against the disguise cushion, it's going to be wide open. So, this is, uh, I mean, this is flanker drive, and this is just a simple play. And then lastly, of course, your last read is going to be your running back. Just in a situation where they, you know, everything's covered, and you just dump it to your back. And there you see, just get upfield. So, uh, guys, this is the flanker driver. This is the single back bunch formation. Uh, real quick, a hot route you can use out of bunch that I really like to use to beat man is I'll just put Welker on a, um, I'll put Welker on a, on a, um, a drag, Thomas on a zig, and Demarius Thomas here on a hitch. And I'll motion Demarius Thomas out and snap him at the numbers and just hit him. Click on, user catch it. It's going to beat man. And then if that's not open, well, the only reason it wouldn't be open is if they're in cover two. So if he gets pressed, obviously not gonna be open. Here, you, and then you could go to your zig. That's gonna be man. And then um, and then your uh, Welker route, you could just playmaker that uh, to the right, and it's gonna be man. So a lot of easy, a lot of easy ways you can be man from the bunch, guys. Uh, just get creative. But certainly, certainly take advantage of verticals and wide trail and stuff like that. Those plays beat man very well. So thank you guys for checking out the man beater out of the Dallas Cowboys playbook. Be sure to come back tomorrow when we're going to teach you guys our three-headed rushing attack from Dallas playbook. Thanks for watching today. If you have questions or need further explanation, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys have any suggestions or feedback that you think may be useful for me to hear, please also leave those in the comments. If you guys could do me a big favor and share this video on Twitter, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching again, guys. Have a wonderful day.